Hi everyone. Okay, I thought I'd start this off a bit differently. So um, I have a question for you. Anyone with a TikTok or Instagram account, could you please stand up? Cool, that's quite a lot of you. <clears throat> I would encourage you to, after today, go and check your statistics. See how much time you spend scrolling through these apps. But for now, let me tell you why I asked. AI isn't some sci-fi thing, right? It's a real thing that is influencing our lives on a daily basis already. Whether we think about it consciously or not, it is happening. From Siri to Alexa to the algorithms that control what you see and what you're exposed to, AI is already shaping the world around us and for us. And like so many have already said today, this is only the beginning. I want to show you a reel, because I do scroll sometimes myself, that I uh, stumbled upon the other day. And before I show it to you, I just want to preface by saying it is not a representative of any of my viewpoints or the company that I represent, uh, either politically or religiously. But I want you to really listen to the message that the man in the video is trying to deliver and think about how that applies to your everyday life. Country made TikTok. China. Do you know that China controls the algorithm of what you see? Do you know this? If you're in America and you open up TikTok, if you're in Britain and you open up TikTok, there is a specific algorithm to reach you that is not in China. If you're in China and you open up TikTok, what they, the Chinese government, wants you to receive as youth, as people using TikTok, are people who are doing good things, achievements, youth making social enterprise, youth becoming successful in math competitions, youth becoming masters of karate, youth doing something with their life. And you are rewarded. That algorithm is that the Chinese government makes you see positive things for social development. Did you know here and in the United States, they, China, send you a different algorithm? Do you know what they send you? All the nonsense that you see. They want you to see Girls dancing, boys and girls dancing with each other, pranks upon your parents, pranks upon people. How many pranks do you see? Yeah, I'm not saying it's not funny. Some of them are downright hilarious. But if you want to destroy a nation, destroy a generation, you make them in their mind be rewarded with the dopamine for thinking stupid things are good, thinking that this is what you're supposed to grow up doing. A large proportion of people grow up thinking that this is what life is about. But in China, they don't let their children think that. Next time you open up TikTok or Instagram or whatever, and you see this, understand that you are being played. That's pretty intense, right? I mean, I knew that the TikTok algorithm was different in China versus the rest of the world, but I really never thought about it like this. And this is obviously a, a reel that you know can be misinterpreted or even create drama. Um, but I think it's important to just, you know, sit with this for a while. Think about what he's saying for a second and understand what that means. And remember it when you look up your statistics later today. AI is actively influencing what you see on your phones, through your friends' phones, on your laptops. And algorithms behind TikTok or like apps like TikTok, they use AI to track what you see, what you like, what you engage with, and then they show you more of the same stuff. And, and even though that's really cool, and sometimes it's even helpful because we find what we're looking for, it creates a feed that is unique to you and that creates a bubble that is unique to you and what you already think is right. And now think about the meaning of that, how this can divide us as a society, how we only 
bring forth that one viewpoint that we already like. We're never exposed to different thoughts, to different viewpoints, to other ideas that can influence us in a positive way. And if we're not conscious and careful about this, then it will change how the world acts, how humans act towards each other. AI is um, obviously not just, I forgot to click on the last one. Uh, AI obviously isn't just about social media. There's a lot of other things that AI can do. And I want to give you an example. Now picture this. You've got an AI tutor that can figure out how you learn best. This AI tutor is unique in the style that it will customize its style of tutoring to your need. And it will create the lessons just for you. Are you struggling with math? No problem. The AI tutor will find ways to break it down to you, visualize the problems for you, and even give you relevant real life examples until you finally get it. And this isn't a fantasy. This is happening in schools around the world. This is being tested out and it's working. And with the power to give personalized support, AI could totally change how education is being done. But it also comes with some big questions. If you have an AI tutor, what becomes of your privacy? Is everyone supposed to know that you're bad at math? Do you want them to? What happens with the bias of AI models? How will that influence what you're learning? And maybe most importantly, what will happen to humans? If you have an AI tutor, what is your human teacher going to do? These are all really tough questions that we need to tackle together as a society. And I think we need to do that sooner than we think. AI as a technology isn't limited in its nature. And it's a pretty cool tool to use and to help solve different issues. And some of the biggest problems in the world right now are being tackled with the use of different types of AI. From fighting climate change to curing diseases, AI has the potential to change the game in so many ways. But with great power comes great responsibilities, as the adults often say. And when we now embrace AI, we also have to think through the ethical side of things and make sure that AI aligns with our values. And as humans, we already know that aligning our values just in between all of us is difficult enough. So imagine now a machine into that mix. But this is where you come in. Your voices, your creativity, your passion. You've heard it today already. You are the builders of tomorrow. And it's up to you to shape what AI becomes. And if there's one thing I would like you to take with you from my talk today, it's my sincerest request that you educate yourselves understand what this transformative technology is and join the conversations. Let your ideas run wild and let your ideas be heard. Imagine a world where AI makes us as humans better, where it drives innovation and progress 
and dare to make that your reality. You can sit back and let the future happen to you, or you could take charge and create the future that you want to see. The choice is yours and the possibilities are endless. So let's dive into the world of tomorrow together with AI as our partner and our shared vision as our guiding North Star. The future belongs to those who dare to dream. And I know that you, the youth of today, will dare to dream bigger and bolder than ever before. Thank you.